In this video, I will show you step by step how you can start trading on Hyperliquid. Hyperliquid is the biggest decentralized crypto exchange, and they also had the biggest airdrop in crypto history, airdropping over $3 billion to their community. In this guide, I will show you step by step how you can set up a wallet, get your wallet funded, and then start trading on Hyperliquid. First of all, what you need is a wallet, which is compatible with Hyperliquid. In this case, we will use MetaMask. You can get MetaMask on Google Chrome, alternatively also on Firefox. I will use Google Chrome. Then you need a crypto exchange where you buy Ethereum and then send the Ethereum to your Hyperliquid wallet. We need Ethereum on the Arbitrum network. Don't worry, this might sound complicated to you, but I will show you everything step by step. Then, of course, we need the Hyperliquid website. Be very careful. There are unfortunately fake websites out there, especially when you're searching on Google. Below this video, you will find a link to the official Hyperliquid website. You will find a link to MetaMask and you will find a link to the crypto exchange Bluefin, which we are using for this tutorial in order to send Ethereum to our wallet. The very first thing is installing MetaMask on Google Chrome. For this, click on Get MetaMask and then you are redirected to the Chrome store. Then you click on Add to Chrome. Then click on add extension. Now you might have noticed in the top right corner, you can see this puzzle. When you click on this, you will see all of the installed extensions. So now we have MetaMask installed right here. Now we need to set up our wallet and now you must follow this very closely and carefully. First of all, agree to the terms and conditions. If you already have a wallet, you can just import it with your seed phrase. Alternatively, if you don't have a wallet, you can just create a new wallet by clicking on create a new wallet. Read this again very, very carefully and then click on I agree and then set up a password. Please note that you can never recover this password. If you forget it or type it in wrong, you can't recover it. So make sure that you 100% put in the correct password and you must remember it. Nobody can recover this password. When you, when you lose your password, you will completely lose access to your MetaMask wallet. Once you have put in a password, click on I understand that MetaMask cannot recover this password and then create a new wallet. Now you must follow this very closely. We first must secure our wallet with our seed phrase. Don't do this later, do this right now. For this, you will need a piece of paper and a pen. Click on secure my wallet on the right hand side. Make sure that nobody is in the room with you. You're not sharing your screen because this will be the backup key for your wallet. In case you forget your password, you can only recover it with this secret recovery phrase, which is a 12 word secret. Once you make sure that nobody is around you, click on this right here, reveal secret recovery phrase. You must write this down in the exact order from left to right. You can also see the numbers one, two, three, all the way until 12. Make sure you note it down, write it on a piece of paper and store it in a secure place. You can also copy this and save it on your uh, computer, but I don't really recommend this because when your computer gets hacked, they will also get access to this recovery phrase. So I personally don't store anything online, which is like a secret recovery phrase. Go through this several times and make sure that everything is written in the exact same way. Also, the capitalization is low. In my case, uh, all of the letters are low. So make sure that you also use the same capitalization if you see anything here. It must be 100% the same. After making sure, triple checking, quadruple checking, that everything is right, click on next. Now you also must put in this um, the, the missing words again to make sure that you have um, the, the right order and everything. I will do this right now. And then I click on confirm. Now my wallet is set up. Now we are redirected to the MetaMask dashboard. Alternatively, if you are in a new tab like this, for example, you can open MetaMask as well with the puzzle piece in the top right corner, and then you click on MetaMask, and here you can see your account. Next, we must add the Arbitrum network to our MetaMask. On the left side, you can see right now we are on the Ethereum mainnet. We must change this to Arbitrum. So click on this, and now you can already see here additional networks, Arbitrum 1. If you can't see it there, just search for Arbitrum, then add Arbitrum 1 to your MetaMask, click on Approve. And now we have added Arbitrum 1. 
This is a layer 2 chain built on Ethereum. So Ethereum is the layer 1 and Arbitrum is built on top of Ethereum as a layer 2. It is a lot cheaper and a lot faster too. Click on got it here and now we must send funds to this wallet address at the top. You can click on this to copy it and now we must go to our crypto exchange to send Ethereum to this wallet. In this example I will use the Blofin crypto exchange to send Ethereum from Blofin to my MetaMask wallet on Arbitrum 1. If you don't have a Blofin account yet, you can click the link below this video. I have all of the links below this video and with the links below you also get some sign up bonuses so you can create a new account on Blofin, then buy Ethereum on Blofin and we will send them over to Ethereum. So create an account right now and then we will buy Ethereum on Blofin. After signing up on Blofin, you can go to the top left corner where it says buy crypto and then you can buy cryptocurrencies with your credit or debit card, for example, 100 US dollars worth of cryptocurrencies. You can also select USDT or Ethereum. I have already done this with USDT, uh, but of course, in this case, we need Ethereum, so you can also buy Ethereum directly. Simply click on buy now and then you will be redirected to the payment section. After the payment is done, you will see the funds in a few minutes in your assets section in the top right corner where your assets are and then click on overview. If you already have USDT on your account, like in my case, then we first must buy Ethereum on the spot market. For this, we click on transfer on the right hand side. And by the way, you don't have to follow this if you already bought Ethereum. But as I said, in my case, I have bought a USDT before, so I now must switch USDT into Ethereum. So I sent the funds, the, the USDT from funding to spot because that's where we can buy Ethereum. And then in the top left section, we can click on spot. Now on the left hand side in the corner we search for ETH and then click on Ethereum. Now we will buy Ethereum. I will buy $100 worth of Ethereum. I confirm this. And now we have Ethereum in our spot wallet. Then we go back to asset and then spot because now we must transfer the Ethereum from the spot wallet to the funding wallet because we can only withdraw funds from the funding wallet. So on the right hand side in the Ethereum section, on the right side we click on transfer from the spot wallet to the funding account. Click on all, now we confirm this, and now we go to the funding wallet on the left side. Now we can see we now have Ethereum, which is exactly what we need. Now we must send these Ethereums to our uh, MetaMask wallet on the Arbitrum 1 network. We click on withdraw on the right hand side. And now we must send Ethereum from our Blofin account to our MetaMask wallet through the Arbitrum 1 network. So for the cryptocurrency, we select Ethereum. If it's not selected here, you can search for it. Click on ETH. Then we will go back to our MetaMask to get this wallet address. So click on this address right here to copy it. And then we go back to Blofin to paste this address. This is the exact address that we must provide over on Blofin to send funds to our wallet. So now back on Blofin, we click on enter withdrawal address, we paste this address right here. Make sure that this is the exact same address. So go back to your MetaMask wallet to confirm this. I have already done this. This is the 100% correct address. Then we click on network and now this is very important. You must use the Arbitrum 1 network. This is at the very bottom right here. So scroll down until you see Arbitrum 1, you click on this and then you select the amount. And then we can withdraw the funds to our wallet, confirm this and put in the two-factor authentication. Now I have successfully initiated the withdrawal and this now takes like around five minutes and then the funds will be over on our MetaMask. And a few minutes later, I have now received the Ethereum over on my MetaMask on the Arbitrum 1 network. Now we must exchange the Ethereum um, to USDC because USDC is what we are going to use over on Hyperliquid. However, don't exchange everything into USDC because we also need Ethereum for the gas fees. So please keep in mind that in order to pay for the transactions over on the Arbitrum 1 network, you must have Ethereum in your wallet to cover the fees. If you don't have any Ethereum, you must send your Ethereum over. So make sure you keep some Ethereum left untouched in your wallet. So now we can click on swap right here. We now swap uh, Ethereum to USDC. If you don't see USDC, you can put it in here, USDC coin, and then click on that. Now we select how much we want to swap. Remember, we don't want to swap everything. So in this case, I will only swap 
0.025. The rest will be for the gas fees. There will be like $4 for gas fees. That will be enough because Arbitrum fees are relatively low. We can click on swap now and then it will be processing in a few seconds. We will have it. Okay, transaction is complete. We can close this and now we can go to the Hyperliquid website. The link is below this video, so click on that link to get to the Hyperliquid website. With the link, you also save 4% on trading fees, so you will get even better trading conditions. On the Hyperliquid website, on the right hand side, you can see a connect button, which you now must click on, and then select the wallet which you want to connect. In my case, it will be MetaMask. And if you have followed this guide, you will also use MetaMask. So when you click on connect, you can see the available wallets here. Um, they also support other wallets like Coinbase and OKX wallet. But here in our case, we must click on MetaMask. We click on this. And now we get this transaction popping off in the top right corner. Read this and then when everything is right, click on connect. And now you must accept the terms and conditions. Read through this. So open this and read it, then accept it and then click on accept. Now you must approve this with a signature request, click on confirm. And now you are successfully signed into Hyperliquid. Now we must deposit funds on the right hand side. You can see a deposit button, click on deposit. Um, and also I recommend you click on stay connected. That's a bit faster. And then you establish the connection again. Again, in the top right corner, click on confirm to approve this transaction. And then you can select how much you want to deposit. In this case, I will deposit everything that we have in USDC. If you have other cryptocurrencies like USDT or USDT.E, you can also deposit them here. But in our case, we will use USDC. Uh, that is how Hyperliquid usually uh, use the margin. So we click on USDC, click on all, and then we click on deposit again on the right hand side. You now must confirm this transaction and there you can also see the network fee. And we are paying the network fee with Ethereum. It's only one cent, but in case you don't have any Ethereum in your wallet, you can't trade. So um, you must make sure that you have a little bit of Ethereum. And by the way, you don't need to pay this for every, uh, every single trade you take on Hyperliquid. You only must do this if you want to deposit or withdraw funds. So click on confirm right here. And now in a few minutes, we will get the funds. This will update within the next block. Now you can see this transaction is confirmed. A few minutes later, we got the USDC in our wallet on Hyperliquid. Now we got the funds in our Perpetual Futures wallet. You can now transfer the funds between your Perpetual Futures wallet or your spot wallet. So if you want to buy coins on the spot market, um, in the top left corner, you can look at all coins, Perpetual Futures, but also spot coins. Let's say you maybe want to buy some coins on the spot market. On the right hand side, you click on um, uh, spot transfer and then you can say how much you want to transfer from perps to spot in this case we will send 50 usdc from our futures wallet to our spot wallet we confirm it again you must confirm this and now we got the funds on spot and futures now we can start trading on the spot and the futures wallet uh, let's say you will now want to buy hyper liquid on the spot account you can here on the top left corner click on this Go to spot, make sure it is spot, and then click on the crypto you want to buy. For example, Hype. This is the uh, underlying token of the Hyperliquid crypto exchange. Click on this on the right hand side. You have the terminal where you can buy and sell. You have market limit orders, and also in the pro section, you have a time weighted average price order and a scaling order. In this section, let's just use a market order because it's faster and we are immediately in the trade. Um, we slide this all the way to the side to buy 100% of our available balance. So that is 50 USDC. Alternatively, you can say, for example, I want to buy um, two hype tokens. Or when you click on this, you can set this to USDC and say, I want to buy $15 worth of hype tokens. So there are a couple of ways to make it as accurate as you want. But in my case, I just want to uh, go all in, place order. Uh, you can confirm this. If you don't want to see this every time, you click on don't show this again and then you buy it. And now you have successfully purchased Hype on Hyperliquid. You can also now see it in your balance section. And also when you go on position, you can see uh, futures trades. So balance on the left side is all of your balance, which is not on futures positions. But if you have a futures position, it will show right here. So let's now go back to futures. So go to perps, which refers to perpetual futures. Let's go to Bitcoin. And now we are in the Bitcoin Perpetual Futures section on Hyperliquid. First of all, you can choose between cross and isolated. Let's just go with isolated in this case. You can set the leverage. 
And let's just set this to 10, confirm this. And now we can create a BTC futures on Hyperliquid again. The interface is pretty much the same like on the spot market. We use a market order. If we want to go all in, we slide this all the way to the right side. And now you can also add a take profit and stop loss if you want. But I just place an order like this. And now you can see we now have a position on Hyperliquid with 10x leverage on Bitcoin futures. Now you can also add a take profit and stop loss on the right hand side, for example, here. Just put in the amounts and if you want to close it immediately you can set off uh, click on market down here confirm this market close and there we go we have now uh, successfully used hyperliquid this is how you do it if you still have questions just let me know just wanted to make this guide because i got many questions about this i personally think the spot market is the most interesting section here because i genuinely think that the hyperliquid ecosystem is still fairly young now we did have a big move here so you got to keep in mind you're basically now buying the top of a 300 percent move but i still think that hyperliquid will be one of the big winners in the bull market if you still have questions let me know below I leave you all of the links to Hyperliquid, to Metamask and to Blowfin below this video.